we've been very fortunate to have purchased a commercial grade um, unmanned aerial vehicle, which is what people call a drone. And we have some scientific instruments on it that measure coastal erosion and storm surges. We're looking at um, specifically being able to visualize the changes that are occurring on Canada's coastlines and to be able to take those visualizations and provide them to people who need to make some emergency response. So we take the images that come from our drone and we create a video game that allows us to raise and lower the sea levels as if there was a storm surge coming. And it allows people to look at what types of infrastructure on land might be affected by this coastal uh, storm surge. You can look at uh, environmental change very quickly, things that might be happening over the next uh, 30, 60, 90 years. You can see how those changes within just uh, a few minutes. It's important for a couple of reasons. Primarily, it's, it's being designed so that there's an immediate uh, immediate tool that allows people to um, judge emergency situations that might be coming, uh, such as uh, coastal flooding. It, they will be able to look at the infrastructure such as roads and bridges that might be uh, topped over by the ocean and they'll be able to evacuate people if, if necessary. It really resonates with individuals. People get very immersed in the realism of these uh, types of visualizations that we create. And it, it Im impacts people on an emotional level, um, almost forcing them to react and do something. We have psychological studies that we've done in which we show that it raises people's willingness to adapt if you're able to show them an environment that they know about and that uh, might be changing. Usually there's emergency uh, response uh, resources available from the federal government to help protect critical assets for communities. And in some cases, uh, decisions are made without the information on what is the most sensitive or what is the most vulnerable. So some communities I've seen have spent uh, government resources in protecting, resor uh, protecting uh, municipal assets that we're probably not as vulnerable as others. And so it allows you to prioritize which assets you should be protecting.